Hey guys, Southside Stacker here, and I'm going to review the 2017 Silver Panda. The Silver Panda has been released since 2008 every year from the Chinese government, and they actually are one of the very few coins to change its reverse design uh, every year. So we'll get right in. We have the obverse of the coin. Above it says People's Republic of China, below 2017. In the center, of the face of the coin is the Hall of Prayers. On the reverse side, we have the 2017 design of the panda. Really nice. Below the panda, 30 grams AG. AG is silver, 0.999. That means it's fine silver. And the denomination to the left, which is 10 yuan. Now, an interesting thing about the 30 grams, uh, most coins are one ounce silver coins, but in 2016, to convert to the metric system, China started releasing 30 gram coins. So, back to the obverse here, front of the coin. Uh, there's something really interesting in the design of this coin overall. On the front of the coin, we have two different uh, finishes we have a frosted look in the silver and a mirror finish. Uh, when I say mirror finish, I want to show you my fingerprint right on the edge right here of the coin. You can see every detail of my finger right there. Uh, so this is a mirror. This is not polished, uh, really shiny silver. This is a mirror. It's really nice. It's one of the very few coins that give you that kind of uh, high quality finish. And then frosted edge. The frosted uh, hall right here, of Hall of Prayers, really cool. And there's still detail here, if I go back. You can still see the individual steps. See the art on the either side of the steps. You can even see the beams of wood. It's really cool. On the reverse side of the coin, where the panda is, you can see every way to finish silver. You have a premium polish, you have a mirror finish, uh, regular polished silver, frosted. Any way you can make silver, it's all right here on the back of this coin. And that's really impressive, but what it uh, does for a buyer is it makes you very confident. Because um, a coin like this is very hard to replicate. This is probably one of the hardest coins to replicate, actually. Now the thing is, you might notice uh, on the panda, there's not that much detail in the fur as like the uh, cougar or the lynx from the Silver Predator series. Um, but just the difficulty of this design alone would make it on par with how hard it is to manufacture any counterfeits. So it is a really cool coin. Um, if you want to think of another way to make a coin very hard to reproduce, Let's check out this edge. It's a very sharp edge, but you'll notice here it's diagonal. Just another way to make this coin very unique. The mixture of finishes, the diagonal edge, it's really cool. Now these coins are very limited. Let's say if you bought a 2008 coin, only 600,000 were released. And if you have those coins today, they're worth a whole lot more than the silver content. So uh, congrats to you. The 2016 and 2017 release, uh, they actually ran in the millions. So there's about 10 million of these 2017 coins. But they're still pretty uh, expensive over the spot. So the introductory premiums are about $7 over spot at a minimum. So if you hold on to these coins for a, for a little while, you'll be able to get a lot back over, your, over the premium you uh, spent on it. And 10 million might sound like a lot, but uh, compared to the American Silver Eagle, which releases almost 40 million coins, um, the Chinese Panda is still a lot, uh, a lot more rare. It's not as common as the Silver Eagle. Go back to the Panda. I'd rate this coin 4 out of 5. 
even though it's a very nice coin and there's a lot of different features um, it's almost it's almost a bit of a gamble if they keep reproducing way more coins than they usually reproduce going from 600,000 to 10 million is a big jump so if you're buying this uh, solely for investment purposes um, I'm not sure where you would land it's a little bit risky it's not common, but it's definitely not as rare as uh, 600,000 coins. So, And uh, it seems like they're going to be ramping up production on the future coins. But besides that, uh, the very high spot, we're talking about $7 over spot um, at a minimum. Uh, besides that, it's a very nice coin. And the mirror finish, you just can't beat that. Show you panda one more time. Alright guys, thanks for checking it out.